Uh, all right, guys. So today I've got a really late start, but as you can see, I've got the uh, the KTM 1290 here that I'm going to do an install of the Rottweiler performance intake. So what I'm going to do is take everything apart first, take the tank all off. I already got the seat off, and then I'll kind of go ahead and show you what I got once we get inside to where the air filter is. But this looks like it's a pretty easy job. Um, the instructions say one to three hours, depending on experience. It says the toughest part is getting all the plastics off for the tank. But since I've done this before, I know how it works, it should be pretty quick for me. I've had the tank off a couple times already. Uh, this is the bottom side of the air box down here. The air box fits right up underneath here, underneath the, uh, the tank, but it's not easy to access like on some of the other KTM bikes. All this plastic's gotta come off and then the whole entire tank has to come off. So it's kind of a, it's, it could be potentially a big job. It's not something I'm going to want to do when we're on the trip. So what I'm going to end up doing is using this pre-filter that goes over this. So this will be all oiled really well along with this. And hopefully for the 3,000 miles that we're on the trip, this will be okay. And I won't have to check it while we're, we're doing the ride. And also, this is a stage three kit from Rottweiler. So that also includes these fueling dongles right here which changes your air fuel mixture and it also includes a tuned velocity stack now you can use both the velocity stacks that that come out of your filter box but this one is the correct size to fit inside here you have to trim the the stock KTM velocity stack and this also is much nicer because it's billet and it's done the right way and it is tuned so it, you have better airflow I'll keep that all wrapped up until it's time to use it. Now, I've already done the SAS delete and the canister delete on this bike, so that's one thing I, I'm going to pretty much avoid uh, doing today. So let me go ahead and get all the plastic off, get the tank off, and then we'll show you what we have after that. All right, be back. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the entire tank off. All the plastics are off. This is the air box right here. Now, there are a couple things we're going to need to salvage off of this, and what's really nice, Rottweiler has gives you a link to the download for the complete instruction manual. So instead of trying to package this whole thing in here, if you're just working off of a computer or you're working off an iPad or you actually printed it like I did, you have all the instructions here. It tells you everything that you're going to need to salvage off the, the air box and how the new one's going to go in. So let me go ahead, and if I look at my instructions here, it tells me that one of the first things I've got to pull off is the air temperature sensor, which is right here. And that gets reinstalled on the Rottweiler in performance intake on its frame for that intake. Um, so let me go ahead and start taking this thing apart and we'll just do some bits and pieces and show you what stuff looks like while we're doing that. All right. Okay, this is the Rottweiler piece that's going to fit in here. And we're going to take the air sensor and install it using the exact same screws in this predetermined location right here. And let's see, we make sure we got it in place here. Okay, and the air temperature sensor is in place, ready to go, we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay, so there are eight screws holding the air box lid on, and they are six millimeter hacks. So we'll pull these things off.
I'm going to take a look inside after we get this off and see what the condition is because this is one of the uh, things that concerns people a lot about the KTM airbox is the fact that even sealed from the factory these things tend to have a lot of dust. Now I've done some off-road riding on here, not a lot, but enough where it should make a difference. So let's take a look and see. It's funny that the uh, instructions for the, the Rottweiler performance air intake says that once you get this thing off, to go ahead and throw it away. <laughs> so let's see what we got here. Okay, there's a spring clip on here that we're going to have to remove. Let me get to that. Okay, so got the airbox cover off, and there is some fine dust in here. And it actually looks like there's some water spray. Uh, not 100% sure where that came from. So let's take a look at the filter. And let's see if we can get this thing out of here. There's the frame that holds it in place. And there's our filter. And you know, it looks like it looks pretty dirty. It looks like the filter did its job. Oop, there's a bunch of sand coming out of there. Okay, so I got the cover off now. These are the two stock velocity stacks. There's where the KTM filter goes, and there is definitely a light amount of grit and dust inside here. Um, you know, I don't know if that's normal or not. There's no real big particles. The filter definitely did its job. It was full of sand. You can see the two air intakes here, these two big scoop nozzles in the front, which I think these are going to end up coming out completely on the install of the Rottweiler Performance Filter. But here are the two stock velocity stacks. We're going to be utilizing one of them. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these out now and then move on to the next step. Okay, so I'm taking a pair of pliers. I really need channel locks for this to uh, take off the spring clip for the SAS. So here's that. It's completely off. This is the air box now, completely removed. The snorkels have been removed. They're not going to get reinstalled. This is the SAS system here, which mine, as you can see, has already been capped off and wired shut. And uh, here are your throttle bodies down inside here. So here's the air box. I'm going to box it all back up, save all the parts, put it back together again, and just store it in case I ever want to put the bike back to stock. But this is it right here, stock air box. Okay, so these are went in really nicely. They're all greased up. The O-rings are in place here. You see the air temperature sensor in place. Everything's really nice. And here's the part of the Rottweiler instruction set that says, go ahead and throw that air box in the trash. They give you three choices. Throw it in the trash, mail it back to KTM, ask them to fire the engineer, and burn it for warmth because you le it left you stranded. But uh, I won't do any of that. <laughs> We're just going to keep it and maybe reuse it for something else. So, this is kind of like day two of this project. One of the things I talked about before we were going to do the final install was the fact that I had the SAS and canister set removed by KTM on this bike. And because there was a stock air box involved, and I actually did the canister remove myself. The SAS, which is a secondary air system, was done by KTM. What they really just did was remove the side plates off the motorcycle where the air uh, lines go in. And then they capped, if you remember, I kind of like, we showed you the fuel pump here. Let me pull this thing out so you can see it. But they just capped the lines, not a fuel pump, but this is just the air valve, I should say, for the secondary air system. And it's just capped is all it is by KTM. So they just put these little caps on either side over here on this. Now, I don't want to keep this in here. I want to take this out completely. What I realized was what I was missing was a dongle to connect to this because 
what will ultimately happen is if I disconnect this and leave it disconnected without something to show the right resistance on there, it's going to throw an error code. So there's a kit that Rottweiler makes, what they call a Stage 2 SAS kit, that's got those necessary dongles for the SAS and the canister system. And they also have these really cool uh, billet plates to cover up. So I'm going to go ahead and use those. And I also have a, a set of fueling dongles that I'll talk about in a minute. And with those fueling dongles, they replace the uh, narrow band O2 sensors in the exhaust. And I'm going to go ahead and plug those up with a Rottweiler kit as well, some O2 plugs. And that way I can take those fuel um, sensors, those O2 sensors out completely. So we'll get to that in a second. So this is the valve that is usually on the bottom of the air box for the secondary air system. And that's the plug. And if you notice inside the kit, you're going to get, this is a dongle. And what we're going to do is we're just going to attach this directly into the plug where that air valve goes. And you hear a click. And it's got a, re a resistor. So all I'm going to do is tie wrap this up somewhere in here out of the way and that's done. The secondary air system is completely removed from the bike. I saved all the parts, the air valve, all the piping and everything in the original plates. I'm going to go ahead and swap out and put the Rottweiler plates in because I think they look better than the ones that come from KTM because they're just plain. And you know this gets rid of a bunch of emissions crap that I don't really want on the bike and it's extra weight. So. That's the first step, and then we're going to continue on with the installation of the, uh, the air filter. Just wanted to get that out of the way first. As you can probably see, I've got the, uh, the base plate for the intake mount. This really wasn't that hard to do. But one thing I didn't add, and I may regret this later on, but there's an optional debris plate that goes in up here. And it says it can be trimmed. It just really didn't fit with everything that I tried to do. But they did recommend removing this right here, which I didn't do. So. Uh, you know, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens here with that. Um, but this is a Rottweiler TBS, which is a tuned velocity stack. And this is the stock velocity stack right here. They, they actually make, you can add these to both, but this one fits fine. You have to trim the stock velocity stack to get it to fit. So I went ahead and opted for the kit that has the, uh, the tuned one that's already in place. Crankcase breather hose is here. The air sensor is plugged back in over here. I think I'm ready to oil up the filters. I got some no toil oil. I'm going to oil up the filters and then button this thing all up and we'll see how it looks. But pretty much I think I got everything done. It looks really good. And it wasn't really that hard to do. It's pretty easy. You know, some basic mechanical skill and you're good to go. So stick with me here while I get this thing buttoned up and we'll take a look. Okay, so oiling this thing, I got some no toil and they actually had it at Cycle Gear. Follow the instructions, use the white cap on the no toil, sprayed this thing um, from the outside in, and kind of like really worked it into the foam so it's coming through on the inside as well. That's kind of what you want to do. So you got a frame in there, so it's kind of hard to squeeze. So you got to kind of push it in from the inside. Now I'm going to wipe off all the excess around the outside and help my hands. Probably a good idea if you do this to do it with a pair of nylon or rubber gloves on and then strip them off because it's kind of a mess uh, and this oil is kind of tacky and sticky so I'm going to finish getting it all cleaned up and I'm going to install it and that way you can see what it looks like so let's do that real quick here we're going to wipe this down take off all the excess and off the connections as well the fittings and this thing this gets hooked this tab right here gets hooked onto the uh, left side of the base plate over here. There's kind of a groove designed for that. So we're going to kind of fit that in there, make sure it goes in place. And I can 
feel it. It's on the groove now. And then we're going to lock in the fasteners on either side. And of course I've got my hands completely gunked up with this. So let me clean these things off here of this oil. And we'll probably use a screwdriver for that. But that's the filter in place right there. It actually, actually looks really good. But there's also a pre-filter that's going to go over that. So let me get this in place here. Let me get it locked down. And there's one side locked down. And you don't actually need a screwdriver. Just kind of hold these tabs down and get that in place. And you can feel them lock. And that's the second side locked down. So that's it. Our Rottweiler intake is in place. So I'm going to go ahead and lube up the pre-filter and then we'll put that over. The reason I'm using the pre-filter is because we, we are going to be traveling on some really dusty roads on the uh, first Rock the Divide trip. So I want to have that extra added filter protection. So let's do that and then we'll come right back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this was thoroughly oiled and I'm going to work it in here. So it's all through the foam. And this is a 60 cell pre-filter, which is, it's, Rottweiler highly recommends adding this to the 1190s and the 1290s because of the amount of airflow and the possibility of additional debris. Also, it's not really that easy to service this filter on this bike because the whole tank's gotta come off. So it's better to just have this pre-filter. And you can look on their website too. There's not a lot, you don't actually um, lose a lot of airflow when you do this so I'm gonna do it because I want to have all the protection I can get on this and man that's it that is a good looking now here's the advantage of this because look at all that surface area this has to draw air in to the throttle bodies you're not limited by the box that KTM has with just the two air intakes in, into a really narrow small window for the filter. This is taking air from all around and it's a lot of airflow. It's a big difference. So here we have it. This is the KTM 1290 Super Adventure with Rottweiler's Rottweiler Performance Air Intake, the Stage 3 kit and the Stage 2 SAS kit as well. So we're going to button her back up. Okay, so we're back now and this is what the narrowband O2 sensor looks like. Okay, and there's two spots where they are. If you see that plug right there, that's one spot, and that's actually the plug that Rottweiler you can buy to, to remove these completely and plug up the exhaust. And there is the other spot right there. And what happens is when you remove these O2 sensors, you that's where the fueling dongles go and you can notice there's one right here and that's all it is it's just a little plug that fits in place of where the O2 sensor would plug in as well which is right here I'm trying to hold the camera at the same time so that just goes in place of it and it sends the right amount of resistance to the ECU or the CAN bus system to set a fuel air mixture and there's one there and there's one down inside here that you should be able to see right there and that's it those are the what Rottweiler performance calls the fueling dongles and I think we're ready to button the bike back up so everything's been done I got the fueling dongles in place the caps are in place on the exhaust got the covers for the SAS secondary air system. That dongle is in place over here and it's it's tie wrapped up, ready to go. So I think we're ready. I think we're ready to go. Let's get the tank back on, get this thing all buttoned up and, and give it a run, see how it goes. Let's see how this thing sounds.
definitely a louder bark to the intake. I mean, it's, it's definitely louder. I don't know if you'll be able to hear any of this on the film. Certainly louder from my vantage point. Um, I can I can definitely hear the intake noise. Mr. Ship with the boots.